Hello, gorgeous, wonderful, heroes, strong people. You are very strong, eh? We had to be strong, didn't we? We have to be still strong. I want to talk about <laughs> what's on the horizon, what's coming, and, and how we can approach it and how we can deal with it. I'll tell you all about it on the other side. So what a surprise. Four years have passed since the last American election. The American election, well, three years, four years next year. The American election is coming. Let's be honest. In terms of the favorite, there is only one favorite, one favorite. And just as there was one favorite the last time. And so, the last time, what they had to do was they had to invent um, a, a plan stroke demic. Yeah, that's why we call it the plan stroke demic. They had to invent it so that they could get people to vote by mail. So that, I mean, obviously, this is only a small part of the whole reason why they did this, but it was a very important part. Let's bring in, let's get the bats out, get the bats out of the wet market and let's have this done. And so, here they come. So apart from, like, doing all of these indictments or whatever they're called, uh, you know, loads of them, and, you know, setting dates for during the, the election period, also, it looks like they want to have another wave. Um, Convid the revenge. And, it, you know, it's, it's like, so obvious and loads of people are saying it yeah yeah well uh, you know the elections are coming up so therefore we've got to have a crisis and of course if everybody is locked down then they're gonna to have to vote by mail and then we know what happens okay so that's what they're trying to push and there's like you know let's let's have the masks back um now, my good feel is that it's just not going to wash this time. It will for some. I, I even saw a woman yesterday. I saw, I saw a woman yesterday with a pink mask on, matched a jumper. And I wanted to go up to her and say, are you wearing that for the old, for like for the three years ago, or are you wearing that for the new? You know, just what, what's the, the, the purpose of that mask? Um, however, very few and far between. The, the voices that I hear are, no way, fuck no, you know, stick that up your jumper, oompa oompa. Um, and that's pretty much where I, where I am. At the beginning, I remember, because it was all new, and it was all new to all of us, when to go in to buy food, I they, they required you to wear a mask. And so I would wear it on my chin. I never wore it on my nose. And when they asked me sometimes to put up my nose, I would say, I can't because uh, I can't breathe. <laughs> and they would go, okay. I, I have panic attacks. That's why I said, I have panic attacks. But, but I still wore it. Right? And, and it was kind of, it, it, it niggled me that I had to put it on my chin. However, that was when I didn't know. Now I do know. And now I have a... Um, uh, exemption form from a doctor and so I'll never wear a mask again I'll never wear one I've got an exemption form and what I'm prepared to do this time which is what I see what I didn't do last time I mean finally right at the end I got the exemption I went into the supermarket and she said la mascarilla por favor right the, the mask and I said no puedo I can't I've got an exemption she went oh okay and I thought it's that fucking easy isn't it it is that fucking easy. My wife went into a, a shop and she said, I can't wear the mask and because I've got an exemption. And the woman said, no, you, you can't come in without the mask. And my wife said, oh, okay then. Well, can I have a, um, here in Spain, if, if, somebody, uh, if somebody has a complaint, every shop has to have this complaint form. But it's a serious one because it gets handed in and it's always investigated. So people don't want people to complain. And she said, okay, no problem. If you give me a complaint form, I'll fill it in now. 
And the woman went, Oh, um, oh, what, what, what do you want then? What do you want? You don't have to be like that. Okay? People have balls because balls have been given to them. But when you confront them, the balls disappear. Like when we went on the flight and the, the air hill, all of us said, we've all got an exemption <laughs> with Iberia. And the woman said, the, 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 the trolley dolly, do beg your pardon. I know that's not politically correct. She said, no, you can't get on. You've got to have a mask. You won't be able to get on. And Cynthia said, okay then. Well, just, we better call the police to come. And she said, wait a minute, I'm going to talk to the captain. She ran off and she came back and said, yes, you can, of course you can, I'm sorry. And we said, do you want to see the exemptions? No, I'm not allowed. Okay, because you're not allowed. People aren't allowed to ask to see them. So what I'm going to do this time, if it happens, and I just have a feeling that it ain't. I just have a feeling that it ain't going to wash. But I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to say, I can't wear it. I've got an exemption. If they say, oh, you've got to wear it, I say, right, can you call the police? That's it. Instantly. And then fuck them. Because they shit themselves. So, call the police now then, because uh, this is illegal, what you're doing. Yeah? And it is illegal. And it's the same with, you know, lockdown. Here in Spain, they had to return all of the fines. All of the fines were illegal for people being fined for being outside. Being fined for not wearing a mask. It was all illegal. Everything was illegal. Everybody knows that. I know that. And that's why the next time, if there's a lockdown, I'm just going to go out. And if they put me, uh, give me a fine, I'll say, no problem. Give me a fine. You do know that it's illegal, don't you? And I won't pay this fine. You know? Or I mightn't say anything. Just give me the fine. Yeah, I won't pay it. So it's all different this time. It's all different. What, what I saw and what really lifted my soul and understand that you know i like mr t i like him but do i believe that he's the savior of the world no i don't but that's just a belief he could be i could be completely wrong i could be wrong all right i don't know just a good feel i've got but who knows do you know if he is the savior of the world i'm i'm happy if he saves the world happy as larry happy as larry but i just don't think that it's necessary you know, I think we've got other, I think we've got much bigger help than just him. However, he did an interview with uh, Tucker Carlson. So he had the option of going into a debate or not. And he said, no, I'll just talk to Tucker Carlson. So the debate, and probably lots of you have seen this, the debate on Fox had 11 million views, right? There's 350 million people in America, you know, and a lot more around the world. But they're the ones who would watch that. 11 million views. Piffle. Absolute piffle. And then the Tucker Carlson uh, interview with uh, Mr. T had, uh, I think, at last count, 266 million. And that's just a running, you know, it's like a, a counter that's running up. And that's not, that's only on Twitter. That's not counting anybody else who saw it on other channels and stuff like that. So, like enormous, enormous. I mean, it couldn't be bigger. It couldn't be bigger. And nobody else is interested in anybody else. So what's very clear is that, and they know that, that unless they do their dirty work, and let's be honest, they're going to do the dirty work, uh, Mr. T is going to get the job. Yeah. So when I was asking the, the emissaries about this, not about the elections, but generally about the whole, you know, the whole convid coming in and stuff like that. They said the baddies only have one playbook. They only have one playbook. And that playbook is getting old. And so it's not going to be as effective as it was because it's an old playbook. You know, you need, if you're going to surprise and, and uh, put, fill people with fear, you need something new. You know, and we, uh, to be honest, I'm going to be frank. I'm disappointed in the whole alien uh, debacle. Where are they? Why have they not come? Because it's kind of like the last card, isn't it, in the Illuminati pack? The last one. And they're like, are they hanging on to it? Somebody said, I saw somebody who was saying, well, because so many people are talking about it, it's like taking the wind out of the sails a bit. And it's like, well, we're not doing now because they're just going to laugh at us laughing at things in space 
for example, the, um, the module that landed on the moon from India. That's quite laughable, isn't it, when you look at it? I mean, when you look at it, I have never seen a worse sea. I mean, you know, why did they do so, so badly on the CGI there? The worst CGI you could possibly imagine. Incredible. Incredible. However, however, so, uh, you know, come on with the aliens. Let's have it over with, with the aliens. But I think maybe they're going to have to wait. Ah, could be, could be the situation. They might be hanging on to that in case Mr. T does get in. And then what they're going to have to do is do something. So they might do the alien invasion thing just to, you know, because like, you know, Convade is just an old hat now. So they might need that freshness, that freshness. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me whether you think I'm on track or if I'm off track. I love you all and I'll speak to you all later. Bye bye.